of these things I like to do on Sunday is absolutely nothing. I, I, I don't like doing anything on Sunday. I like to just sit back and relax it, you know. It was about three o'clock and I was thinking, man, what should I have for snack? Uh, so I look out the back window and I see a tree. That's warm. So that kind of ruins my Sunday. Just a little bee swarm. Yeah. So let's go catch us a swarm. Yeah. And get some bee roll. Some bee roll. What's up, everyone? So Jesse came out to check on some of the animals while I was out in my office recording, and he noticed that we have. A swarm. I don't know if I can get it. It's pretty high up there. So we've got the side by side out and we're going to um, do some sketchy stuff to try to get the swarm. So let's go. So we got <laughs> majority of the bees down, but uh, from the looks of it, the queen is still up in the tree. So Jesse's going to go and get a saw, and we're just going to chop that branch down so we can get a little bit easier access because they're starting to beard up there again, which is telling us that the queen is probably up there somewhere. So. So we've just got them in this nook box for now and then we're going to set up another nice big hive for them. They're slowly finding their way in. I took a hive or a frame out of this hive which had plenty of resources in it and I put it in there so they have some stuff just to start them off with and hopefully they find it nice and comfy in there while we build their, their new hive in the next few days. Hopefully the rain will hold off long enough. swarm that we had literally just got out of the tree a few hours ago apparently they didn't like their accommodations very well so they left so this time we just went ahead and grabbed one of our empty deep hives and I think we've got majority of them in there pretty sure I've seen the queen hopefully they like it in here a little bit better than they did the little nook box so I'm thinking maybe we might just cover this and leave this out here in the shade and close it up until they get nice and acclimated and then move them over to the apiary. Haven't quite decided what we're gonna do with them yet. So, stay tuned. All right, y'all, so it has been 24 hours. We left the box out here 
all night and they are still here. So we're gonna actually just leave this box here for a few days to let them get acclimated. And then in a few days, early in the morning, we'll move them over to the apiary. But in the meantime, to keep our nosy nosy pigs out and our nosy nosy goats out, we're gonna put the electric netting around this area just to make sure that they don't mess with it and cause them to take off again. So that's what we're doing today. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight. Alright, so we've got the fence up. Let's test it. Give up everything that I we're at about 6,000, which is more than enough to deter the pigs, so we're good to go. All right, y'all, so we have the area nice and fenced off, so hopefully in a few days we'll be able to get out here nice and early and move them all to the apiary. We'll keep an eye on them for the next few days, but I don't think they're going anywhere. They went into that box on their own, so hopefully we just expanded our apiary by one more hive so if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button we put on new videos every single week and we'll see you guys in the next one bye you're the rose in a garden and it shows if i'm on